Hi, I'm Alana Thompson from the Department of Tourism, Sport and Hotel Management in the Griffith Business School. In 2017, we got given a project task to develop a MOOC to showcase the Griffith University's um, partnership with the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games. Griffith was an official partner of the event and the partnership included a range of initiatives like internship opportunities for students, staff secondment opportunities. So the university was really keen to communicate a little bit more about the depth and diversity of the partnership that we had with the Commonwealth Games. We didn't really have a clear uh, remit on what we might look at around the event or, or a particular topic that we wanted to focus on. A group of interested academics came together, we met a few times, brainstormed a few different topics that we might look at and what came out of that was the understanding that Griffith had a range of different initiatives and activations happening around Commonwealth Games and for us to develop a MOOC that was going to be delivered before the event meant that there were some things that we couldn't quite look at before the event yet. There was one program, the GAPS program, which is a high performance sport program working with athletes from the Oceania region to help prepare them to qualify and participate at the Commonwealth Games. So our MOOC ended up being um, focused on the GAPS program and the great thing about that was that we had access to key staff and academics that were involved in the development of it and it also meant that we could bring a really important spin to be able to deliver on some of uh, our Griffith graduate attributes. We focused in on um, the social, social responsibility of our students and the ability for students to engage in international environments. The key underpinning of the GAPS program was about creating equitable access uh, to world-class training and, and preparation environments for athletes. And so we looked at some of the sports science around that and we also looked at the arguments for equity and equality and why it's important that a country like Australia hosting the Commonwealth Games would support athletes coming from developing nations in Oceania and, and provide them access to the kind of sport training environments that our Aussie athletes have access to as well. In terms of the outcomes that we saw through our two-week MOOC, some of the key things that came across for us were that our local students, our group of students that enrolled uh, on the course, the feedback that they provided was that they actually didn't know the extent of the Griffith partnership and they communicated that they were really proud uh, of the connection that Griffith had with the Games and were also really uh, excited by the fact that Griffith had had a, a role in helping athletes from um, Vanuatu and Fiji and, and other developing nations prepare uh, to, be, to, to perform at their best during the Commonwealth Games. So some of the qualitative feedback I saw come from students were that they typically group these two concepts together, diversity and inclusion, and, and don't always take the time to unpack the differences between the two concepts. So the fact that we looked at these two concepts in, the rela in relation to the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games and provided people a practical setting where we analysed different strategies and approaches to achieve equality and equity, students had a real life example of, of how these things uh, can manifest and how they can appropriate them back in their own community settings. Key learnings that you might take if um, you wanted to look at doing something like this, the big ticket items for me were um, the ability to work with our Griffith online team. One of the risks that we did take was um, early in January was the last camp and that meant that we had athletes and coaches and program staff from all over Oceania here on the Gold Coast and we had access to them to do some interviews. And we took a little bit of a risk to wait to that last camp so that we could um, have coaches and athletes talk about their own perspective of things. It was well worth taking that risk because we really believe that having the different um, videos and snippets in there really brought the MOOC to life. So instead of having our academic text and content um, things were brought to life through the athletes' own words about their experience and I think that that definitely contributed to the extent of engagement that we got through our Futurelands um, active learners, so how many people participated in, contributed to, to discussion and completed the course as well. So absolutely be prepared to take a few risks because in the end um, I think that that's where we push the boundaries and we can get those better learning outcomes for our students.